Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Hello, hello, hello. I am sneaking on early this morning uh, to do a preview of Thursday's all vintage art live sale. Well, most of it's vintage. Um, I'm putting in a few pieces of my own. Uh, let's see if I'm live. I'm still not seeing myself. Um, I always have to go check to see if I'm live. Oh, there I am. Okay, perfect, perfect. Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of sneaking on early. Oh, hi, Rosanna. Hello. Um, intentionally, um, because <laughs> uh, I tend to do like lives thinking I will be on for a short period of time and then I get chatting with the chat and it's like 45 minutes later. So, um, <laughs> good morning. Oh, good morning. All in the attic treasures. Good morning. Um, so I'm just doing this live now cause I'm suspecting less people are going to be on, less people are going to see me and I'm just going to book through this preview. So first of all, why I'm here is this is a preview for the all art vintage sale I'm doing this Thursday. Uh, last month, I actually put out a poll and asked people um, on my community tab on YouTube, I asked people if you would like, how you would like me to do an all art sale. And the overwhelming majority said they want an art sale that is a live sale and they want it on a weekday evening. That was the overwhelming majority of responses. Uh, good morning, Karen. Uh, good morning, Susie. <laughs> Uh, so that was the overwhelming majority of responses. So um, I picked Thursday. Good morning, Tammy. Uh, just because it worked for me. So I'm sure I'm going over somebody else's sale. I'm very sorry about that. It's unintentional. Um, it's just the time that works best for me. Uh, so this sale is something I have been picking up pieces for for years. Is not even a joke. Um, for years. And um, some of these items are coming out of my personal collection and rotating into the sale, uh, which is also very, very exciting. Uh, the reason resellers don't sell art is because it's actually exceptionally hard to ship. The boxes to make art are really, or to ship art are expensive. Um, it's scary to ship something with glass that's flat. Um, it's very scary. Uh, but I am at the point in my reselling career where like I'm very confident in my shipping and I invested in the sale y'all um, I spent almost a hundred dollars on packing materials to make sure that I had everything I needed to ship this art safely to you so I'm very very excited about that um, there will be probably about 30 pieces of art in the sale and um, most will be offer ups. So there'll be some giveaways. And there's also going to be um, art kits. So kits to make art will also be in this sale. So that'd be really fun. I'm going to start booking through things, okay? Um, just know that I'm probably not going to answer any questions about like dimensions or anything. Um, we're just going to like go, okay? Because uh, I have a good 90% of what's going to be in the sale around me and I want to show as much as possible. So anyone else can catch this video and hopefully it's not too darn long. So I appreciate everyone who's here this morning. This is an early surprise sale. I just, I had some time, I had some energy and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get this up. So, okay. So first we have a gorgeous mid-century wall hanging. It has a deer. Really fun piece. I actually started with the piece that's easiest to ship. <laughs> So that will be coming to the sale. Um, I love pieces like this. This was a hand painted portrait. You'll see in the sale that a lot of the items are women, portraits of women. It's just the type of art that I really enjoy. This is a pair of prints. Now these are screen printed, so they are layers upon layers of color. So somebody would screen print the white, then the blue, the brown, then the orange, then the blue, then the silver, then the black. So these were all done by hand and they are signed by the artist. Gonna sell this fun piece. I don't know if anyone remembers me picking this up. I picked it up on the channel. Bo Peep and her sheep. Um, I thought maybe there were three sheep. There are not. There are only two. So this is a complete set. That 
that is Georgian era fashion, which is very popular right now. Um, especially with the shows that are on TV, Georgian era is exceptionally popular. I will be bringing original art as well. You might remember this, oops, upside down. <laughs> you might remember this piece from the artist's house. Bring in that. This is a gorgeous piece of original art. This is all hand painted. And it looks to be hand painted on kind of like the lacquer coating that is um, on like uh, furniture. Really, really unique piece. Really amazing. Love this one. I have a pair of Big Eye art. Now, Big Eye art is getting harder and harder to find, and it is getting more expensive and more expensive. Um, gosh, the last pair I saw was like 80 some dollars. These will not be $80. But I mean, it's just starting to go through the roof. People are realizing how wonderful big eye art is. Uh, yes, I am bringing items from the artist house. Yeah, I'll here, I'll show you two more. I'm gonna bring two of her larger pieces too. I'm gonna bring the farmhouse with the white tones. And then I'm also gonna bring the farmhouse that has the more peach tones from the artist house. So I'm going to bring that. I do have a very, very large piece from the artist house, um, but it really is so large. I can't show it. Um, so it, that has to be a booth piece. Like it's just shipping that would cost me a hundred dollars just for the box. Uh, so it just doesn't make sense to try to sell it live. Um, but I'm so glad you're excited about that. Yay. Um, this is an amazingly gorgeous piece. I do think I filmed finding this on my channel. Gorgeous Art Nouveau detail in that. And this is, um, and I'm sorry about the glare. It's, you know, I can only do so much. Um, this is um, a gorgeous Anheuser-Busch advertising piece. Really beautiful piece, really beautiful. Um, and I tried to look it up online and I could only find like one comp. So really pretty. love her. Isn't she a stunner? So pretty. Now this piece makes me really excited. So this is an original. Um, you know, originals are just hard to find. And one of my wish list items um, when I started this channel was finding an original mid-century big eye piece. And I was able to and it is a little boy and a lamb. And this is an original, this is not a print. So really fond of mid-century piece. Really love that one. Now this is a print, this is not a litho, okay? I'm selling this as a print. Ooh, sorry about the glare on that one. Um, I do believe this is probably like mid-century, late mid-century. Um, and this is a print you would probably get at like a carnival or a state fair. So just by looking at the back and the age I, and looking at the, the way it is, I do not believe this is an original litho. Um, if someone gets it and is like, wow, it's an original litho, good for you because it's going to be sold as a print. So really beautiful, whimsical, magical image. Love this one. And I'm sorry if I'm like kind of back to the camera. I really do want to kind of run through these pretty quick. I'm going to be selling more than one of these. So this is a giant scrapbook cover. It's empty, but honestly, I think of it as art for how beautiful they are. I'll be selling two of these. So these items right here might be the most amazing pieces from the sale. And they're actually one of the more modern pieces, but when you see it, you'll get what I'm talking about. So these are art 
and they are art kits. Do you all remember these posters you could color in? You will not find these. These will start high. I'm going to let you know that right now. These are going to be one of the higher starts. Um, and I'll probably do choice between these two. Um, or I'll run them individually, depending what people ask me to do. Um, but these are sealed art kits. One for Saturday Night Fever and one for Grease. Now, just this poster for Grease, just the poster colored by like a teen. It was colored pretty well. So I don't think it was a child. I think it was like a teen. Um, sold for like $85 on eBay. Just the poster. And so just telling you these are going to start high because you're not going to find these. On the back, they have a poster from the movie. I mean, just super, super amazing, crazy finds. So um, I about died when I found them. Um, it's a it's a little teeny tiny hole in the wall thrift store um, that's local, and I I like lost my mind when I found it. The lady there who was working thought I was crazy, but I know like you're never gonna find those again. So I was very excited. Now I'm only selling I believe only one piece of artwork that is an actual glass bubble frame, and this is it. Uh, bubble frames are just super hard to ship. It's just really scary, you know. Um, you know, it's just really scary to ship. But I thought this was so beautiful, and I feel really confident that I can get it to its new owner. Um, but really beautiful piece, how it's got all that hand-done embellishments. I mean, look at these embellishments, right? Aren't those neat? Grease is the word. Yeah, honestly, I thought about selling those on eBay uh, because they're just, I honestly, I think I'd get more money for them on eBay, but I love my people on my channel better than just random eBay, eBay people. So I was like, you know what? You know who deserves that? People on my channel. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, this one is uh, probably the largest piece I am selling, and this is a litho. I'm sorry about the glare, guys. It's the best I can do. But it is a beautiful portrait of mountains and a Native American woman. It's big. This is really big. I had to get special boxes just to be able to construct something to ship that. Um, and it's got the gorgeous old frame. Just the frame alone is worth a ton of money. Um, which is, I'm so excited because you can't get curved frames anymore, right? Like, even if you go to, like, order something specialty, it's a frame shop and they're cutting it up for you. That is one of those curved old frames, Mwah, right? Um, here is a piece from my personal collection that's coming. Um, this one will start higher, but nowhere near what I paid for it. And look at the frame on that. Look at that frame. I mean, just look how big that is. And it's one of those art fashion illustrations. This, yep, this is coming from my personal collection. Um, I've had it for a while now. Um, I actually have a lot of fashion illustrations. I love them so much. Uh, this is also coming from my personal collection. So this is really, really interesting. And I, I don't know if people are actually going to get this. I hope you do, but people might not get this. So this is, I would say, probably done in the 80s and 90s. It's taking an 1800s fashion illustration, and they built clothes on top of it, which was actually a pretty common practice turn of the century. So someone in the 80s and 90s, when kind of Victorian revival was happening, did the exact same process. And so it's three-dimensional. And the reason I know it's newer than more older is because of the fabric they used. It's just modern, more modern fabric. Um, but the practice of putting clothes on these ladies is very, very old. It's a very old technique. Um, amazing. There's more than one of these coming to the sale. Um, let's see. I realize I didn't grab all the art kits I wanted to, but that's okay. Sometimes you just got things squirreled away everywhere, right? 
<laughs> oh, thank you. I'm glad you like those. Yay. So I do have some art kits that are coming. Um, the point of this sale was kind of like art and art kits. Um, I pick up art kits whenever I can find them. And it's mainly because I always kind of have the idea I'm going to do them on my channel, right? Um, I, doing vintage art kits is um, kind of a like thing that a lot of cha vintage channels do for clout. Um, they take a vintage pattern, a vintage idea, and they make it now. And those videos tend to get pretty good views. But what I've discovered is I don't actually enjoy structured crafts. I've known this about myself for a long, long time. And so these art kits just keep sitting here. And you know what? I'm gonna give them to someone else. I'm gonna let someone else love them because they're amazing and they don't need to be sitting here. Um, this little lady um, is from an art kit. Um, I got her from Kitschy Flower Coal and I am gonna do her as a giveaway. So I know that for sure. She's gonna be given away at the sale. Um, Here's another art kit. I know I have some that aren't here, which I'm kind of mad at myself for screwing that up. That's okay. Here's one for Christmas. Latch hook stocking. Isn't he cute? I love the way his beard is. It's almost like Susian, like, like Dr. Seuss, you know? I love that. That's so fun. Um, kitties. Um, let's see. And then I do have smaller art pieces. So not everything is like ginormous. Uh, this is a flu cover. This one is really fun. I, I hope this one is popular. I, I don't know if it actually is. So this is the courting couple and it is a set of three. So these look really good stacked in all kinds of different ways. I hope somebody loves these. Um, I'm a big fan of like anything in threes. It always just looks nicer. So it's the courting couple and it's in threes. So they're kind of small. So I hope someone likes that. I, I wanted to make sure that there were some like small pieces in this sale. Not everybody has room for something ginormous. I'm bringing these. I actually am probably not even going to sell these as a pair. I'll probably do choice. Um, so these are reverse painted. Sorry about the glare again. So these are reverse painted. Um, I do think, um, oh, hello. Hi. Nice to see you, Dawn. Um, I do think these can be separated. I They're just not so close as a pair that I'm like, oh, these need to stay together. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, so those are reverse painted. Now this set, however, I am going to sell as a pair. I do think they need to stay together. These ones. Really gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. Um, I found these ones at a good deal, so I'm able to bring them. Those are Those typically go pretty high. So I'm excited to be able to offer them. And then, goodness, did I, did I show everything around me? If you're just bopping in and you're, um, <laughs> if, you, if you missed the beginning, please go back. I tried to make this, this uh, preview kind of quick so you can watch it again. Oh, here we go. Here's this one. How sassy is this lady? This is another small piece. And so this one says, her golden hours, the debut. Mm, okay. So I thought that one was sassy and fun. Um, and then I am going to, I might sell some of my original artwork too. I don't have it in front of me because um, it's hard to store my original pieces, but I am gonna sell, I think some prints of my artwork. Um, and so what I did is I made The Little Mermaid, but it's made out of an antique book of The Little Mermaid. So if you go in close to the artwork, you can see the words from the pages. And these are prints, but they really do have the 3D effect. So I'm going to sell these. I have no idea if anyone's going to have any interest in these. These are really high quality prints. Um, I do a lot of paper artwork, 
I don't have as much time now that I have a YouTube channel. Same with Cinderella. This book was from the 1800s and then I pieced it together into a 3D sculpture. And honestly, a lot of people don't get this art. They don't understand why I thought it was so interesting to take antique books and make sculptures out of them. Uh, so I just don't know if anyone even thinks these are interesting. But um, um, again, Peter Pan, I used an old, old version of Peter Pan. And my favorite thing about this one is right up by the hook, it says hook. You can read it in the writing. So these are high quality prints of my originals. Um, I have a large size of those, and then I'll also be selling small, small sizes at a deal. So, oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Nettie. Uh, yeah, I've, you know, I, I hope the vintage community appreciates it, but like you also kind of never know. So, um, so yeah, that is it, y'all. I just, I want to make this video kind of quick. Um, I'm going to recap on what's going to be in the sale. So this is going to be, um, an all art sale. Okay. It's going to be this Thursday. This is an Anheuser-Busch piece, Art Nouveau. Um, and it'll be this Thursday at 5 30 uh, PM central. And it will be, uh, 6 30 PM Eastern. And um, I'm really excited for the sale. Art is one of my absolute favorite things to bring. It's going to be a live sale. It's going to be offer up. Um, items will start as low as $10. Um, and some of the start prices will go up to $75, just depending on the value of the item. Um, I'm so excited for the sale. I really did invest in the sale. Um, like I said at the beginning, I spent um, $100 just buying packing materials to make sure I could do the sale well. And these, these are incredible. I think actually these might be the centers of the sale, despite them being some of the newer pieces. Really, really wild pieces. You'll never see these. You'll never, like, there's no way, right? You're never going to see those. So gorgeous piece of pop culture. Um, yeah, so I just, I hope everybody can join me because this sale is just going to be something different. Um, it really is harder to ship art. Art is a harder thing to do. I probably won't have my Saturday morning sale um, this weekend because I will be shipping this all over the weekend and in the evenings when I'm not working. Oh, and last awesome announcement, if you're still here, I am going to extend. Um, so I have subscriptions to my channel uh, and I am going to extend the 25% off of the sale to those who have the subscription to my channel. Um, so and it's this sale only. I I give, uh, people have subscriptions to my channel uh, who have memberships to my channel. I give them 25% off the purchase of the Saturday morning sale items. It does not include live sales. Um, but I'm gonna make an exception because it's the holiday season <laughs> and everybody's strapped for cash. So um, my subscriptions are uh, $5.99 a month. Um, and as long as you have the subscription, the time that I go to invoice you, you will get 25% off your purchase. That does not include the shipping of items, but it does include the purchase price. Oh, and one last thing. God, I should have led with this and I didn't think about it. If shipping for your item goes over $20, okay, shipping will be $20. Does that make sense? So if shipping of your item goes over $20, I will take on the additional shipping cost, okay? Because some of these, the shipping will be wild. And I don't want people freaking out about the price of shipping because honestly, I cannot quote you right now of what they're gonna be. I just can't. These are, they're gonna be huge boxes. Um, so if you get a invoice for 16 something dollars for shipping added on to what you bought, that really was the price of shipping. If you get an invoice for $20 for shipping, just know that your shipping costs more than that. <laughs> uh, but I do want to offer the cap because I don't want this sale to be inaccessible to people because I, art is something I truly believe in. Art is something that I think is so important to have in every home. Um, it opens our minds. It opens our hearts. Um, art is really important. Um, so I just, I do really want to make this sale accessible. 
so just know that shipping, even though these are large, large items, um, will not be over $20. Um, we're going to cap it. Oh, yay. I'm glad you like the offer. Uh, good, 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 good. Oh, yes, yes, Rosanna. I was so excited. So I, you know, I've been seeing uh, memberships and subscriptions on other channels, and I was like, I, I would love to do that, but I also want to make it a true value for people. So if you look at the, um, if you can go to the members tab on my YouTube page and you can see the information about the membership. And I do offer 25% off for members for their purchases of the drop sale. Also 25% off my merchandise. So the way I look at it is you can make up the cost of that membership um, just with purchases with me. Um, that was really the goal with that. Uh, because, you know, YouTube takes 30% of the membership, which is fine. I stream for free on YouTube. I'm not complaining, but it just didn't make sense for me to do like a 99 cent membership. Like it just, you know, I'm a small channel and I can't really do anything with that, if that makes sense. So if I made a membership a little higher, I could give people discounts. And I thought, I thought that was kind of a good trade off. Oh, okay, guys. So that is it. Uh, this will be a giveaway, this lovely little lady. Don't forget, there's going to be going to be art kits. Uh, so I believe there's over 30 items um, coming. And just really, really, really neat items. Really beautiful art. This is the kind of art that you're just not going to see on other vintage live sales, mainly because it's it's hard to ship. Um, but I'm, I'm investing in the shipping on this one because I'm really excited about it. So um, thank you. Thank you for spending time with me this morning. I know it's super early. Um, and so remember, the sale is this Thursday. It is linked in the description below on here. It'll be at 530 Central, 630 Eastern. Um, and just, oh, that's your fave, Tammy. There are two of those. There are two. I only showed one. There are two. Um, there is a pair, but I will sell them separately. Um, uh, just know that uh, the membership offer stands. Uh, so if you are a member, you will get 25% uh, off of the purchase of an, of anything you purchase. I don't care if you buy all 30 items, you can have 25% off. And then um, if you, um, if your shipping is over $20, I'm capping it. So I'm capping shipping at $20. Um, and thank you. Thank you all. I'm so excited for this sale. I, I, I really hope people enjoy it because God, I'm going to enjoy it. And, and my thought was do this sale before the holidays because art is like such a stellar gift to give someone for the holidays. Like it's just true beauty to add to your life. Um, and honestly, give yourself a gift this holiday. I buy myself art. That is something I buy for myself all the time. I love art. So... <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I appreciate you so much. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I will see y'all on Thursday. So stay creative. And bye. And we're ending. This is always the awkward part because I'm trying to hit the end button. There we go. <laughs>